from David Payne. A tremendous double there. He uh, was bred in America, Dellard. Five-year-old by Blushing Groom out of Petrava. And, of course, South African racers will remember Petrava because Petrava bred in New Zealand, was trained here by David Payne, and Petrava went overseas, was covered by Blushing Groom, and Dellard was the result, and brought back to this country by his owners, Mr. and Mr. Laurie Jaffe and Mr. And Mr. Graham Beck. And so a very sentimental moment here for David Payne because he not only has trained Dellard, but he also trained his course in Peter Marisburg. In that race, she beat some of the best two-year-old Colts in the towel. In fact, in South Africa. And if she can reproduce that type of form, well, the experts say she's going to be hard to beat today. Another that won a feature race last time out at Scottsville is number three, a fair model. She won the Alan Robinson Bloodline Championship. In that race, she narrowly beat Super Sheila. Well, these two clash again today in our big race here, the McIntosh. So watch this film and might give you an idea how they may go against each other in a few minutes. Still with big race winners, we have number nine, Raw Plug, from the stable of Dennis Dreyer. Two runs back, uh, Roy Plug won the computer form debutante stakes over 1,400 metres at Clearwood Park. Unfortunately, she's drawn 19 in this race, but on this form you're watching now, she has to be given a chance. Banner Mike Yeri has two runners in this race. The first of these is number 14, La Ultima. Red in New Zealand. This filly's only run once in South Africa. That was over 1,300 metres here at the Gravel Course. She only beat a maiden field, but she won very impressively. And if she can reproduce this type of form, well, many think she's going to have a big chance today. Next of the airy coupling is number 15, a silver, a strike. She too is bred in New Zealand and has only run once in South Africa. That was over 1,400 metres, once again here at Gravel, and she also won a very convincing beat. Well, we move from the form of Sledgehammer goes forward, and there's the unbeaten fair model, the daughter of Model Man. 12,000 rand purchase. They're all set for the JB McIntosh Police Classic. 1,400 metres aside on view. And the runners sent on their way in the JB McIntosh Police Classic. On the far side, Star Award trying to get over, but the grey, they're going off to lead them a stepping stone. Just on the outside, raw plug, Jamie the Ware has a good position. Near the rail, Casey's Element racing about three lengths off the leaders in the pink silk flare out. Then Desert Salute and beats the hammer. The Ultima about five lengths off the leader. Then we drop back to Silver Strike, Sunny Surprise. They go towards the 800 meter marker and Jamie Beware has gone off to lead from Raw Plug, the Grey Stepping Stone racing third. Then Flare out and on the outside, Star Award, Tracy's Element in the dark silk about three and a half lengths off the lead. Then La Ultima behind that one, Fair Model. Then we drop back to Silver Strike. Just behind that, beat the hammer, then Coca Bamba, Super Sheila is about 10 lengths off the leader, and behind that, fine thing. Into the own stretch in the J.B. McIntosh Police Classic, and Jamie Dwyer, the leader from Raw Plug. On the left-hand side, the grey stepping stone, but Tracy's Element, full of running, two off the left-hand side. Star Ward trying to come home, but Tracy's Element has hit the front at the 200. Star Ward on the outside, Tracy's Element has gone clear, though, and it's Tracy's Element going far too well for the opposition. Tracy's Element by two lengths in the end. Second Star Ward, Fair Model will just get third, and Super Sheila.